Hello, Namaste, Vanakkam and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. My name is Dr. Shah and I am primarily specialized in treating male infertility and sexual medicine which falls under the broad gambit of the field called andrology. And first of all, I would like to thank you for spending your valuable time here to you know, listen to this video. And in this video, I'm going to give you some mind-boggling facts on semen analysis, a test which is used to diagnose male infertility. Now let's look at some very basic fertility facts. It's very important to understand that infertility affects approximately 1 in 6 couples, I mean married couples. And this is a very very scary figure because this data is directly from the World Health Organization. What's even more scary to understand is that infertility affects men more than women, most of the time. And men feel less men when they are diagnosed with infertility. It hurts their morale, it hurts their ego, and it can lead to severe depression and anxiety. But the story doesn't end there. Now recent scientific research suggests that male infertility could affect approximately 60% of couples who present to a fertility clinic for an infertility evaluation. And what's extremely scary, and that literally throws me off my seat, is that an estimated 7% of the global male population are facing fertility issues. And here's where I'm going to appeal to you. Please, please stop blaming women. Stop blaming women, especially for fertility problems. Just remember, male fertility testing is not difficult. A simple semen analysis is all that is required for male fertility assessment. The semen analysis, as per the WHO, also remains the gold standard test for male fertility assessment. Now, let's look at the normal semen analysis. What's the normal sperm concentration? What's the normal sperm motility? And what's the normal sperm morphology? As per the WHO 2010 Anthology Laboratory Reference Guideline values, if your sperm concentration is 15 million per ml with a 40% motility and 3% normal form, you, you are considered to have a normal semen analysis report. Well, on the other hand, if the sperm concentration is less than 15 million per ml, if the number of moving sperms is less than 40%, or if the number of normal appearing forms is less than 3%, these are all typical problems that need treatment. And remember, there are over 100 known causes of male fertility that can actually lead to any of those sperm parameter abnormalities we just discussed. The joke is, there are numerous other unexplored causes, because over 2,500 genes alone regulate the complex product process of sperm production in a man. So, to summarize, a simple semen analysis may give a clue to why a pregnancy is not happening. Men should get tested first. Male infertility is on the rise and should not be ignored. And infertility affects men more than women. I hope you enjoyed listening to this video. This is Dr. Shah. I'll be more than happy to answer any of your doubts and queries drop me a mail at drstk123 at gmail.com subscribe comment and like below and do share this video with your friends and help them out thank you